We will talk about testosterone. Testosterone is a hormone which makes men a man. It means it causes development of male physical characteristics. And what are these characteristics? It's muscle mass and bone mass. So testosterone causes growth of muscle mass and bone mass. Also, testosterone is important for uh, growth of body hair. It's important for sexual function, for libido, for erection in case of men. Also, it defines genital size during puberty. Of course, not in adulthood, but in puberty. Testosterone is produced in testes primarily, in case of men. In case of women, it is produced in ovaries. And in both, it is produced in adrenal gland also. So, testosterone is not produced in testes only, it is produced in adrenal glands. Adrenal glands are small glands located above the kidneys and in ovaries also. Testosterone is produced in ovaries. Now let's say high, about high testosterone and low testosterone level. If person has high testosterone, he is aggressive and he has hair loss, usually male pattern hair loss, which is called androgenic alopecia. Such people also have heart problems, liver disease, and increased risk of prostate cancer. If woman has a high testosterone level, it is converted to polycystic ovary syndrome, um, hairy body also, acne, and menstrual irregularities. And if person has low testosterone level, it causes fatigue, sexual problems, decreased libido, decreased erection, weight gain also. So none of them is better, not low testosterone and nor high testosterone levels. Now let's say what affects testosterone level. First and common question is if sexual arousal increase testosterone. Yes, it increases. Sexual arousal increases testosterone level, but only temporary. After uh, several hours, usually it returns to baseline level. So sexual arousal increased testosterone level, but only for several hours or sometimes several minutes. It depends. And after this, testosterone returns to normal level. Also, there is question if exercise uh, affects testosterone level. Yes, exercise increases testosterone level, especially resistance training, increased testosterone level. But uh, this um, increased testosterone level also is temporary. This elevation is temporary and lasts around 30 minutes also after workout. And question is about aerobic exercise. Also, if aerobic exercise like running, jogging, walking affects testosterone level. And most studies show that aerobic exercise minimally or no affect on testosterone level. If testosterone level defines genital size in case of men, yes, it defines, but it defines during puberty, not after puberty, not in adulthood. During adulthood does not matter how high is testosterone level, uh, male genital will not change in size. Also, there's common question about if semen retention or avoiding ejaculation affects testosterone level. Um, there is mixed studies and st some studies say that it temporarily affects. There is studies that um, semen retention, retention and avoiding ejaculation increases testosterone levels for several days, 
around 7 days and after 7 days it returns to baseline. So it can have some effect and in some culture it is believed that avoiding ejaculation causes more energy and causes more testosterone and uh, it can help uh, on physical performance also but according to studies uh, it can be partially true but mostly it does not affect seriously on testosterone level uh, and it can be also very individual but usually it does not affect testosterone level um, significantly now let's say what causes low testosterone obesity aging especially after 30 or after, after 40 testosterone levels start to decline importantly uh, obesity decreases testosterone because it causes conversion of testosterone into estrogens that's why we have low testosterone sleep apnea also decreases testosterone thyroid conditions decreases testosterone level uh, both hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism both decrease testosterone level hyper decreases because it increases number of sex hormone binding globulin and it's it's protein and it's bind to testosterone and it decreases free testosterone so you may do blood test and it shows that your testosterone level is normal or upper uh, level or increased or elevated but if your sex hormone binding globulin is high also your testosterone level effect will be low because free te testosterone will be low in case of hypothyroidism testosterone also decreased of course there is uh, decreased level of sex hormone binding globulin because of hypothyroidism but also metabolism is slowed slowed down that's why testosterone is still low so only when thyroid functions are normal it's it's optimal and at these cases testosterone level is optimal now let's say how naturally we can increase testosterone level and first and leading is exercise exercise with your body weight or resistant training like weight lifting is important and you should try to exercise resistant training for 30 minutes per day every day best is if you can every day or most days in week it will increase your testosterone level and it will positively affect your body also your body composition your muscles also second is proteins healthy oils zinc and magnesium uh, they affect testosterone synthesis they are important that's why you should eat eggs meat nuts avocado and leafy greens because they contain lots of zinc magnesium protein also and uh, avocado uh, contains also and nuts also contains healthy fats and they are important for testosterone synthesis and vitamin d is very important if you want to separate one supplement for testosterone it can be vitamin d because vitamin deficiency is very common and vitamin d deficiency causes low testosterone level so it's important to consider vitamin d so if we say three natural ways how to increase testosterone level first is exercise second is uh, meat eggs nuts avocado and leafy greens and third is vitamin d that's a simple formula thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now